Hi, Sagittarius. This is Ascended Twin, 144K. I'm here to do your reading for the star sign of you, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. How the hell is everybody doing? I pray that everybody is well and healthy. Um, I know we're experiencing a pandemic called the coronavirus, so I send out lots of love, lots of prayers, a lot of healing energy to those who um, have uh, contracted this coronavirus and prayers to those who have succumbed and passed and crossed over from the coronavirus. But I pray for everybody every way, every day anyway, so it don't make a difference. But I, I still, you know, sympathize and understand that situation. Also, um, just don't let the fear grip you because fear mongering is really at an all um, all time high right now. But anyway, thank you to all of my subscribers who have subscribed with my channel, been rocking with me since I started my channel. Much blessings, much love. Y'all know, appreciate the ride or die love with y'all because I'm a ride or die with, with it. Also, um, for those that you know, you don't subscribe, but you still come to my channel to see what the fuck I'm doing. I love you. Appreciate the love. You know, thank you. Much blessings to you, too. Also, um, y'all know I cuss. I talk shit in my videos. If that offends anybody, please click off. I'm not the reader for you. Um, and I don't give a fuck, okay? But anywho, um, you know time is fluid. So this could be past, present, and future energies. Take what resonates with don't fuck it. Okay. Also, check your sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Venus, you know, Jupiter, North Node, South Node, that type shit. Okay. Some of that might resonate when other things don't. All right. Also, um, as you know, time is fluid. This could be past, present, or future energies. The energies can be reversed. This could be you or your person. This also goes for same sex relationships, same sex energies, divine masculine, divine feminines, twin flames, that type shit. All right. All right. Cool. So, uh, now, anything you need to know about the channel um, and myself, it'll be listed in the description box below the video. So, I got some new cards, so I'm learning them. I didn't know Rush either, so don't be hating. And don't judge me. But, anywho, um, I got some new cards. They're beautiful. I love them. It's called The Dreams of Gaia. Lovely cards. And, um... I pulled one and it is from Earth. So we have the six of Earth here and I'm going to uh, read up on it. Mm -hmm. Yep, six of Earth. And see what it says. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Keeps it going. All right. Six of Earth. This is the Six of Earth. I love the way these cards are made. Look at that. The art is amazing. All right. So, what's he offering? Six of Earth is family, community, providence, protection. Dependability, responsibility, duty, service, self-sacrifice, martyrdom. All right, y'all, be careful about that shit. Um, responsibility and duty to family. Give love, care, and support. Lead by example, a time of sharing. Important matters need attention. Learn about nature. Protect the animals, forests, and oceans. Help for the right reasons. I love that because enough people don't. A lot of people help for self-serving purposes. But, anywho, let's slide this to the side. But, you know, that ain't for me to say. That ain't for me to judge. Keep it moving. In the Illuminati Tarot, we got the Eight of Wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So, Sagittarius, you are showing up in your reading. We have the Princess of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And we have... The Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the wheel, which is karma, lessons, destiny. 
All right. So there could be swift communication coming in, passionate swift communication coming in, um, Sagittarius. It could be you're sending out communication to somebody or either somebody is sending it to you. Somebody wants to give you an offer. They're working real hard right now to level up to possibly bring in this offer. Um, but it may take a little minute. Um, somebody could be instigating a new spark at start of something. Could be a job for some of you guys. Um, a new job could be coming your way. That could be making you really, really excited. I'm also hearing some of you might be putting some money. You have been saving some money to put down on a home. And it is going to be lavish. Like this bitch. You see how beautiful she is and lavish? But this could also be someone that you're dealing with, or this could be your emotions, Sagittarius. You could have your emotions under control. You can have them under wraps in a cup. So your cup is not running thin over right now at this particular moment. You have a controlled set of emotions. Um, you could be using your intuition. Some of you could be very psychic at this point. And this is something that's destined and fated. Some of you could actually be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or any of these signs that I call um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or fellow fire sign like yourself. But somebody has gotten a cluck on the head. They are having a very painful, very heartbreaking, emotional time. Someone has walked away from a situation. They are going through a spiritual awakening. I'm seeing a mass exodus type situation. So I'm going to sit these right here and I'm going to start with the romance oracle. The romance angels oracle deck. Um, it says calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmation, and visualizations, blah, 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 help bring you together. So some of you are calling in your soulmates. So we're going to see if there are any more messages for you guys. Do you have any more love messages for my Sagittarians, my Sags? Chemistry? There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So there's a strong magnetic attraction here. An attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So some of you are just enjoying the time alone, Sagittarius. Let's get into your reading. So what are my messages? What are the messages? What do we need to know for our sad soul family? Oh, Lord, there it go. And I shuffled the shit out of these cards, too. Some of y'all could be dealing with uh, Pisces. Because uh, this shit showed up in their reading. I just did Pisces. So, fire and water. And I did say, Whoo, some fire and water was up in there and that shit. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. So, some of you have definitely uh, retreated. You have stepped back from a situation. Possibly a long-term committed relationship. Some of you are in a divine connection as well. This is my 1111 card. And this is Virgo. So some of you have retreated within, have gone in to get, um, to seek knowledge, wisdom, to gain inner clarity and guidance in a situation where your union was concerned. Um, some of you may have had a decision to make, um, some of you could be in a long-term marriage, long-term committed relationship. Doesn't have to be long-term, but it's a either a commitment or a marriage. But we have um, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini. We have the Five of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. So somebody has definitely retreated from a relationship or possibly a marriage or a divine connection. Um, someone is feeling a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of regret, a lot of remorse in this situation because there could have possibly been where there was some things hidden 
in this um, relationship situation. Um, it took for you to maybe step away, as we said, retreat it, to get some inner clarity and guidance and also some temperance and balance. Archangel Michael could have assisted you, and this is your card here as well, Sagittarius, uh, the temperance card. The moon card is Pisces or Cancer energy. Um, I say Cancer, but people say Cancer and Pisces, but Cancer rules the moon. That's why I say Cancer, but um, you could have been dealing with um, someone that could have been very secretive. Um, they weren't very open. Um, somebody could have um, backed away from an offer. Either you offered them or they offered you. Someone was very um, deceptive. They were a big liar and a thief. So someone could possibly have stole from you as well. Somebody is in their head about a committed relationship, um, having a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety, not sure whether or not they want to go into union in a situation. Um, because like I said, we do have twin flame significators here and they're showing up all through the reading. All right. Uno, dos, uh, tres, cuatro. So far. Um, I got four major arcana on the board. So this is a definite uh, major situation happening in your life. This is not a simple situation. This is a major event. Ooh, somebody is wanting truth and clarity in this situation. Too. Let me get the rest of these cards out. But anyway, somebody definitely... Um, was having a lot of sleepless nights. So they got frustrated, wanted truth and clarity in the situation, bossed up as that queen of swords and was like, I want the truth or I'm ready to cut shit out. And it was all due because somebody was invested in a third party situation and they needed to take the fucking rose colored glasses off. They weren't seeing shit clearly. And it was either you or them. And this could have been with a past life soulmate this person could have been dealing with, Sash. Either you or them or both. Yeah, but this person was a real... Woo, seven of swords up underneath the moon. This motherfucker was a narcissistic, pathological liar. They kept a lot of shit here. Woo, somebody was fucking deceptive. It, it don't get no uglier than that. If the double car fall out, I'm going to fall the fuck out. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Father God. Ooh, the world came out. So this cycle is over. Some of y'all could be seeing 10 10. They go to Wheel of Fortune twice. Ooh, thank you, Father. Oh, look at this. And the world. So this shit is definitely <laughs> a wrap. This shit is definitely a wrap. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So this was very destined and faded. This was a part of your destiny, Sags, for some of you, especially the, um, on the, those who are on the Twin Flame journey. So this was a major, major situation that was going on. And we have the world card here. So somebody, this, this uh, cycle got closed out for all the lies and deception and betrayal in this situation. Yeah, it needed to be closed out because this was ugly. Somebody did somebody super wrong. And I do mean hella wrong. Somebody did not take anybody else's feelings into into consideration this could have been uh something from someone's past that um they needed to learn a lesson regarding in order to heal something that was hurt possibly from childhood childhood or either um when you became an adult and you had your first series of relationships can you give me some insight and clarity on the hermit for my sacks, please? Why is it here? Okay. We have the eight of pentacles. So somebody is working very hard on themselves to level up. They're doing the work that's necessary so they can get the inner clarity and guidance. So they can be ready to take this leap of faith. That could be either you or... Or them sag, we have the eight of pentacles. So that's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So somebody could have heavy earth in their chart. 
or you could be dealing with somebody that has heavy earth in their chart or you both have earth in your chart and somebody could be acting like the Aries taking a leap of faith or dealing with an Aries. Why is the four of wands here, my 1111 for my sad soul fam? What is the messages? What do they need to know, please? Somebody is trapped in a relationship, um, Sagittarius. Could be with a fire sign, a queen of wands. Like yourself, another fire sign. Um, they could have air in their chart. They could be feeling left out in the cold by you, Sagittarians. Um, this person could have ended up becoming homeless or you could have possibly became homeless in this situation. Also, um, this queen of wands, which is Leo, but it doesn't have to be a Leo. And here's your emperor right here. Um, somebody was very controlling. Somebody was very demanding in a situation. Somebody was, and I, I just got a message that said it's my way or the fucking highway. Exactly verbatim. Okay. So some of you could have been dealing with a fire sign, um, that this person is involved in a long-term committed relationship or a marriage. And this person could be very, uh, demanding, very controlling, um, could have put your person out or either you could have, um, you two could have split up and moved out, um, of a place that you guys had together, but I'm definitely feeling someone, um, got left out in the cold and I feel like it's your person that feels like they're left out in the cold by you, Sag. I feel like you moved on. I feel like you bossed up like the emperor. Why is the lovers here for my Sag soul fam, please? What is the messages and what do they need to know? Whoops. What is the message for my sad soul fam? What do they need to know? There could be a king of pentacles that has a decision to make about either you, Sagittarius, or a, a fellow fire sign. Somebody has a decision to make. Because there was no equal reciprocity in this situation. This person was a dickhead because they had money. And, you know, um, somebody might have been in the limelight, you know, public eye a little bit. Um, was getting some attention, so they let that shit go to their head. And somebody was using their, let their little head run the big head. But somebody had a decision to make, and they chose uh, someone else. They felt like you didn't have enough to offer Sagittarius, or you them, is what I'm getting. And I feel like your twin may have felt like you were not um, a polished look for them, as far as you may not have had enough your background may have not been um, what they wanted as a partnership and a relationship, commitment, possibly marriage, even though they may have loved you. Um, you know, they chose somebody that was a brighter, happier fit for them, so to speak. And this person was definitely juggling either you or them, Sagittarius, and some of them. Some of you could have been dealing with another fellow fire sign like yourself because we do have Leo here twice, okay? So somebody could definitely have heavy um, fire in their chart. Why is the Five of Cups here for my Sag soul fam? What is the message and what do they need to know? We have soulmates. So somebody is really broke the fuck up over the choices they made between soulmates and somebody needs to take a leap of faith to rectify it you could be dealing with someone that has a lot of water in their chart you could have a lot of water in your chart they could have a lot of water in their chart and it doesn't always have to be tropical for those of you who follow vedic astrology uh apply it where it fits okay all right so why is the moon card here for my Sad soul, soul family. What is the messages and what do they need to know, please? Okay. We have somebody thought, you know, they could have their cake and eat it too and wait for their ships to come in. 
somebody wanted this empress, but there was blockages and delays. And I feel like the blockages and delays were due to the fact that somebody was having their cake and eat it too. And it created a lot of delays in the situation. And so finally there was a completion. Somebody had had enough. Um, the cycle was over and it had been closed because someone was not making a choice. And if they had made a choice, the choice that they made overall turned out to be a lesson rather than um, their, their person. I'll say it like that. So I feel like somebody chose um, what looked best, like status quo type bullshit. Somebody chose status quo over real love is what I'm getting. Why is the temperance card here for my sad soul fam? What is the messages for them and what do they need to know? Somebody do not want these cards to talk. Here we go. Somebody was definitely left hurt in this situation, feeling very guarded, very wounded, very injured in this situation. And I got the Queen of Cups twice. So Archangel Michael could have came in to calm down a lot of harsh communication. Somebody charging in to rush in to speak maybe very harshly. Could have been immature communication as well. And... They needed you to have temperance and patience and balance. Get a, get a hold of your emotions. But somebody looks very sad. And somebody could have closed off their emotions too. Could have been dealing with a water sign or someone that had air in their chart. And somebody needed strength. Leo energy. So there could have been a Leo involved. I got a lot of Leo on my charts. and um, Well, not on my chart. But I have a lot of Leo on the board is what I'm meaning to say. And it just caused somebody that finally, you know, got the strength they needed so they could move forward. They took action and moved like a chariot. They got tired of being guarded and defensive over this situation because they had been lied to so much. And there was too many lies, betrayals and deceptions going on in this situation. Somebody shut down emotionally. Very guarded, wounded, and injured. Why is the not the page of pentacles? Hold on. Let me slide this out of my way. Why is the page of pentacles here for my sad fam? What are the messages that they need to know? And what is the energy regarding this situation? Hmm. You definitely bossed up like the Empress. That's for sure. Look who's, well, he was down at the bottom, the emperor. He was down at the bottom. But um, somebody is guarded and defensive. They're standing their ground. They're like, this offer is too puny. I don't want this shit. I made it. My, I made my choice. You're too fucking late. I'm walking away. You're too fucking late. You see what I'm saying? Why is the nine of swords here for my sad soul fam? What do they need to know? There you go. You communicated what you wanted this person to know and understand. Eight of cups. Not once, but twice. Boom. There we go. You got tired of the anxiety about this situation and you finally just said two tears in the bucket. Ace of swords. I'm speaking my truth. I'm tired of being juggled. I want to be treated fairly. I want some equal reciprocity in this situation. Why is the queen of swords here? To my sad soul fan. Ooh, that card is talking sad. And you still, somebody still walking away. Because that eight of cups ain't went nowhere on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, truth and clarity because I'm leaving. I'm dipping. I'm out. I'm dipping. I'm out. I'm ready for a new start. New change. Truth and clarity, I give it to myself. Fuck closure. And I'm using my intuition all the way to guide me. Could have been dealing with a Pisces. I'm a manifest while I'm on my way out too. Fuck you. Two tears in the bucket. I'm 
I'm manifesting me a passionate new beginning. Could be dealing with another air sign. Oh, well, air sign, water sign, fire. All the signs are here, really, so it doesn't make a difference. You could be dealing with anybody. But um, you definitely out of five on this one. That spiritual awake that spiritual awakening is calling your ass. Y'all twins, then raise the fuck up out of this shit. Good for you. Good for all of you that decided to walk away. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, because I got two twos right here. So some of you could be seeing two two. But you definitely got tired of somebody not being consistent. Somebody um, not giving you the truth in this situation. Constantly juggling. Being indecisive. Got one foot in the situation. One foot out. Don't want to see shit from your perspective. It's like a me, me, me situation. Yeah. Third party. I already know what it was. Third party. This is why what your partner chose. Your partner was down for polyamory. Third party. Open relationships. That's why they were hiding this shit from you. Very fucking deceptive. Very deceptive energy. Yeah, they already had a family. They were already in love with this person. Or if they weren't, they did. They chose this person over you and for the status quo. Because this person would do what you would not do, possibly, Sagittarius. You may not have been willing to go into a third-party relationship. Um, you deserve, you wanted the Ace of Pentacles. You wanted stability and love. Not this bullshit. Not that fuckery. So you went and got your own shit and you healed. Yeah. You made a head over hard decision. You clocked the fuck out on that one. You clicked the fuck out too. I'm like, mm -mm, I'm over this. Why is the world card? Some of y'all are still healing too. You got justice too. Somebody is getting karmic justice in this situation. You could be getting karmic justice for how this person treated you by getting a new start, by healing. Some of this is self-love too, as well. But I'm feeling that you're healing. You're getting a brand new start all the way around the board. Some of you, like I said, jobs, homes, cars, the whole shaboom shebang. You're getting the whole deal because justice is coming your way. And for others of you that was married to this person, this is legal justice and destined, fated, karmic justice. Both, all of this shit is destined right there. All of this that came before these last cards, that shit was all meant to happen. Somebody is definitely getting wish fulfillment from where they have been hurt, wounded, harmed, and injured in a situation. So... Let's see. Let's put some more love on this situation. What else can we get from this reading? Nope, I need to shuffle right quick. Sorry, guys. Hang on. All the rest of the cards have been less shuffled and cut. Just these need to be reshuffled because I wanted to know what was some of the energies pertaining to your relationship. This situation was hurtful to you, too. Um, but you stood your ground and you bossed the fuck up. You was like, I, empresses don't accept this shit. I know my worth. Twin flame, divine connection or not. I give two fucks about it when you're trying to step on my toes and my toes is 10 toes down. Hmm. Not gonna happen. It's time to go. I got to do me. I got to get me all the way back together again. That was how somebody was feeling. It was like, I ain't about this shit. You don't know me. So at the bottom of the deck, let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So let your friends step in and help you. Is there any more messages I can receive from my sad soul fam? Heart to heart conversations. So some of you... um who haven't may need to um, have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your um, person. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So 
Guys, let it go. Forgive so you can heal and move forward and receive what it is that you want in your life. Let's get some messages from the Earth Magic Oracle deck. What messages can you give me for the sides, please? We have tsunami. So some of y'all got hit with this shit like a tsunami. This is why I said some of you got blindsided. This was a huge wake up call for some of y'all. And you had time over the winter to reflect. That's why your lid had shut down. You had closed off. You had shut your emotions off because you were frozen and you were reflecting. That's you becoming the queen of swords so you could boss up to become that empress because you were over putting your feelings out there. Next, we're going to use the energy oracle deck and get some messages for you guys. Thank you. They feel in your energy quick. Look at you walking through the door to spirit. That's what that eight, like I said, eight of cups, spiritual awakening. Some of you guys are going through your spiritual awakening. And that's beautiful because the change is needed. You're getting an upgrade. All of us are upgrading. We're going through ascension. Yeah, soul contract. Like I said, somebody got justice contracts. Destined and faded contracts right here. Not once, but twice. This definitely tells me that this one was destined and faded. And it don't get no clearer. This was written in the stars. You know how I know? Here we go. One and two. There you go. Destined and faded, written in the stars, contract, soul contract, okay? So some of you may be null and voiding that contract. There's no more marriage. Um, some of you have, uh, you can't, you know, cut the cord with your twin as much as you may want to. I trust, I know, it doesn't work, I tried, there was a lot of envy, so their karmic partner could have been very jealous of you, or vice versa, take it how it resonates, your twin could have been jealous of you, there was a lot of deceit, we spoke about this level of deceit, definitely, there was a lot of deceit, when you have the seven of swords underneath the damn set, underneath the moon card, yes ma'am, it don't get no uglier than that, a woman holding a coin. So somebody was um, controlling the finances in this relationship with your, your twin or your partner, your person, however you want to call it. But look at here. We have flow of prosperity from the Ascended Masters. So what else are the Ascended Masters saying to my side? Soul family, what messages do you guys need to hear and know? Ascended Masters, can you give me a message? What messages my sad soul family needs to hear and know? Thank you. Okay, we have focus upon your strength. Well, the strength card is down here twice, so there we go. Some of you guys need um, are being called to meditate. And some of you guys are being told to drink more water. Oshun. And Hina said freedom, so free yourself. There you go. Free yourself. Focus upon your strength. Meditate, drink more water, and free yourself. All right. Divine order is under the bottom of the deck. Everything is Archangel Raguel. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusions and see the underlying order. So let's go forward. 
This is my favorite deck. Healthy lifestyle. Mm, clearly goes with drink more water. All right, take it. Well, damn. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. There we go. All of that coincides with this, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. I could be wrong, but take your power back. Equivocates. There we go. It says, take back your part, your power. Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Prosperity flows. Y'all saw that for yourself. I'm not. You see me shuffle. Healthy lifestyle. Archangel Raphael, eat a healthy diet, get adequate sleep, exercise regularly for optimal health. Patience. Archangel Jophiel, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Henceforth, why you got the angel of temperance to show up in your reading. I want to say she showed up twice, but I'll take that back. That might have been for Pisces. But this has been your reading, Soul Family. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family and friends. You can find me on Instagram as... Ascended Twin, 144K. You can find me on um, Facebook as Nikita Kelly, Ascended Twin. And you can find me here on YouTube as Ascended Twin, 144K. I love you, Soul Fam. You take good, good care of yourselves. And y'all stay beautiful. Blessings.